so as the title suggests we are going to have the study in two parts first of all what are the ARMA processes and then the lattice ladder filters already we are covered with introduction to the ARMA processes AR standing for the auto regressive MA standing for the moving average ARMA process it means ARMA random process is a special type of the random process already we are introduced in our third chapter that it was discrete time random processes few of the last topics we had dedicated to introduce this type of the special random processes here so as we know that the all pole lattice provide the basic building block for the lattice type structure that implement the infinite impulse response systems that contain both the poles and zero so this we have seen in the previous topic here and in order to have construction of the appropriate structure let us have the consideration of the infinite impulse response system having the system function denoted by the mathematical expression where we denote it capital H of Z it is equal to the ratio in the numerator we have summation k is equal to 0 to small q carried on to c suffix q of k multiplied to z to the power minus k whereas in the denominator we have 1 added to the summation operation for k is equal to 1 to q 1 to p it should be for a suffix p of k multiplied by z to the power minus k so simply we can denote the numerator of this ratio by c sub x q of z whereas the denominator will be a sub x p of z so without the loss of generality let us have the assumption that p will be greater than or equal to q so therefore the system that will be described by the difference equation here we have the difference equations first equation is v of n that will be equal to minus of the summation k is equal to 1 to p for a sub x p of k multiplied to v of n minus k added by the discrete time random process x of n whereas the second equation is y of n that is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to q carried on to c sub x q of k multiplied to v of n minus k so this is what the system represented by these two particular difference equations so this is basically obtained by just visualizing or considering the system to be a cascade of all pole system that is followed by all zero system now from this current equation the set of two equations we observe that the output that generally we denote by y of n we have at the last equation it is simply a linear combination of the delayed outputs obtained from the all pole system so this important point we are going to utilize for the construction of pole zero system here so as we have the clear identification that g sub x m of n the prediction error in all pole lattice can be expressed as a linear combination of the present and the past outputs here so the system here it will be denoted for the backward prediction capital H sub x B of Z that is equivalent to the ratio of capital G sub x M of Z divided by capital Y of Z this is equal to capital V sub x M of Z and all zero system so therefore the linear combination of the error represented for the filter by g sub x m of n is also an all zero filter so now let us start with all pole lattice filter the coefficients will be the reflection coefficients capital k sub x m for m will be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to small p and let us add a ladder part by taking this as the output of weighted linear combination of the error representation by g sub x m of n here so of course the result will be a pole zero filter that has the lattice ladder structure here 
the corresponding output of this ladder is ladder structure can be shown by the equation y of n is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to small q carried on to the multiplication of beta sub x k with g sub x k of n so here beta sub x k is representing the parameters that determine the zeros of the system here and the system function we have represented this particular current equation y of n is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to q d sub x k multiplied by g sub x k of n here so here it will be of the form for the filter function we have h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z that is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to q carried on to the multiplication of b sub x k to that of the ratio g sub x k of z divided by x sub x z here now here we go to visualize the lattice ladder structure for the all pole zero system here so here it is the pole zero system on the left hand side you see the input represented by x of n is equal to f sub x p of n at the bottom here we are obtaining g sub x p of n and on the right hand extreme after the summation we are obtaining the corresponding output here now here we have the visualization of the corresponding mth stage of the lattice ladder structure so here we have at the start f sub x m of n paid as input and on the another end we have f sub x m minus 1 of n here at the bottom here we have g sub x m minus 1 of n and on the left hand side bottom we have g sub x m of n and the corresponding structure here it is shown with the help of the coefficients denoted minus capital k sub x m and the complex conjugate of k sub x m here since we know the relationship that x of z is equal to capital f sub x p of z and f 0 of z is equal to capital g sub x 0 of z the earlier equation we can express to the form h of z is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to q or beta sub x k multiplied to the ratio of g sub x k of z divided by g sub x 0 of z which is further multiplied to the ratio capital f sub x 0 of z divided by capital f sub x p of z here so this is equal to 1 upon the system function in earlier case the representation it was capital A sub x p of z this is multiplied to the summation k is equal to 0 to q or b beta sub x k multiplied to the representation of the system function in the earlier case b sub x k of z here so finally we can denote capital C sub x q of z equal to we have the summation operation k is equal to 0 to q for beta sub x k multiplied to capital B sub x k of z so this was the required relationship that we can utilize for determination of the weighting coefficients that we have denoted by capital not the capital beta sub x k simply so now provided the polynomials capital C sub x q of z and capital A sub x p of z for the condition that small p is greater than or equal to small q here we can have the determination of the reflection coefficients generally denoted by capital K sub x i here so this will be obtained from the filter coefficients A sub x p of k further by the means of step down recursive relation we also obtain the polynomial represented by capital P sub x k of z for the values of small k is equal to 1 to 3 and so on up to the maximum small p here so finally the ladder parameters can be obtained by the use of this current equation and the ladder parameters here we denote with the help of the expression capital C sub x m of z that is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to small m minus 1 
और बीटा सब एक्स के मल्टीप्लाइड टू कैपिटल बी सब एक्स के ऑफसेट फर्दर एडेड टू बीटा सब एक्स एम मल्टीप्लाइड टू कैपिटल बी सब एक्स एम ऑफसेट हियर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल सी सब एक्स एम माइनस वन ऑफसेट एडेड बाय बीटा सब एक्स एम इनटू कैपिटल बी सब एक्स एम ऑफसेट हियर द इक्वेलेंट रिप्रेजेंटेशन कैन आल्सो बी गिवन बाय द एक्सप्रेशन वेयर वी राइट कैपिटल सी सब एक्स एम माइनस वन ऑफसेट इक्वल टू कैपिटल सी सब एक्स एम ऑफसेट माइनस बीटा सब एक्स एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कैपिटल बी सब एक्स एम ऑफसेट द एम will hold the values into the descending order first of all it will start at p then p minus 1 p minus 2 and so on up to it reaches the value small 1 here so this way going for this recursion relaxation in backward direction we can have generation of all the lower degree polynomials here and since we know that small b sub x m of m is equal to 1 the parameters that we have denoted by beta sub x m are determined from this particular equation where we said beta sub x m is equal to small c sub x m of m for m is equal to p then p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 and so on up to 1 and finally equal to 0 here the case when is excited by the white noise sequence this lattice ladder filter structure will generate the arma process here discrete time random process can be denoted by arma in the bracket small p comma small q and it will have the power density spectrum described by the mathematical expression here it is capital gamma sub x xx of f expressed in terms of the variance sigma sub x w it is squared here and it is further multiplied to the ratio where the numerator is mod square of capital c sub x q of f whereas the denominator is mod square of capital a sub x p of f here and along with there it will be the auto correlation function and i have already talked about the variance for the input white noise sequence here